hi guys, um, I'm just going to do my flap tour now. So I'll just turn you around and show you around my room. Um, so starting with the door, I've got all my coats on the back there and my dressing gown because I don't have enough wardrobe space. Because um, there's like a little chest of drawers in there which is kind of annoying. Um, these are all my photos, they're ones from home. So I don't have any ones from my first year of uni which I need to print them out but I'll hopefully add those on later and then I have a little chair here my desk chair which has got my gown on and my coat underneath um, that I use quite a lot and my gown is like whenever I go to dinner I have to wear it and then some more shelving over there and down there um, the good thing about this room is I have a lot of storage space and my desk is pretty big as well so I'm in the middle <laughs> doing a problem sheet which isn't going that well um, but this is like my usual setup usually it's a bit messier sometimes um, and I have some like scrap paper there um, of questions that gotten wrong and my notepad that I use for lectures over here I've got my mortar board um, some pads of paper my finished um, problem sheets that have been marked some notes from last year textbooks for this year stationery, um, fiction books and like books that I'll read for fun <laughs> but I don't get too much time to read at the moment and then just other bits of paper down there this is my other pin board which is looking a bit sparse at the moment um, I only have my Head of the Charles banner on there um, some like leaflets, the Oxford Union term planner and my timetable which is like a work one um, so I've just like organised um, like when my lectures are and when my tutes are and that sort of thing um, I'll do a video hopefully later on um, how I manage my time I guess this is my bed um, I've got a really nice fluffy throw on it um, so that's really good for keeping me warm in the winter and two books not two books but um, the Union I think brochure for this term and super intelligence which I started reading before term started and haven't really read much of it since then but I usually try to read something before bed it doesn't usually work out that way um, and then I have this quite useful short table I guess um, I just store my shoes underneath there and usually that is covered with clothes um, but it's not now <laughs> And then this storage unit, which has got loads of gloves in there, a bag, some sports kit on the top, and a birthday present up there. Um, that really doesn't have much in it. And then this, hello there, is my um, sink. So it's quite nice. And underneath I just have, like, toiletries stored there. It's quite useful having a sink in your own room. Um, even though we do share a bathroom between, like, for people it's not too bad because we've got our own sinks and then this is my wardrobe and you'll see what I mean about I have a shelving unit in there um, so it means I can't use half of my wardrobe so if I put my coats in it doesn't all fit um, and then I've got a laundry bag down there all of that stuff is clean I just haven't managed to um, get round to folding it yet and then I have my towels here because I don't have enough hooks, a bin and back to my door. So this is the overview of my room. Hi, I'm Sonia. Um, I do maths second year at Christchurch. And she also lives with me. <laughs> so yeah. Your desk it like your desk area is really messy. nice. But you've been working. A bit messy just doing some maths as I do. I like your pin board, I think this is like the best part. Thank you. Nice photos. The one over there is a bit nicer though. Yeah, and then plants. I do like your plants. Yeah, that's Vera, um, that's Charlie, and that's Tom. Okay. <laughs> I thought you meant Vera as in that was what you called aloe vera. Yeah, that's why it's called Vera. Okay. But I thought like <laughs> like Australian shorten it to Vera because oh, they're really cool. That's, that's the name. Of okay. Um, so that's my room. Very very nice. 
Um, we yeah, we've all got two wardrobes like that, <laughs> and then that all that food. Food, food stash, alcohol stash, books. You have a good collection of books, I think. Thank you. Be yeah, a better collection than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Did you bring more from Australia? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, what's one thing that you had to bring with you to your uni room? That I had to bring. Yeah. Like emotionally. Um. Emotionally, and then one for like comfort or makes you feel at home in your room, kind of thing. Okay. Um, well, I had to bring this bathrobe. <laughs> really, really soft and really nice. And, and it's also very comfort. useful for when we go to the shower. Yeah, and like Jess and I have like matching ones because they they're really fluffy. Nice yeah. And also, this is so lame, but I had to bring my software collection. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, see, these are my three. My three soft toys that I had to bring. <laughs> very nice. I'm 19, I <laughs> Thank you very much for letting me into your room, Sonia. No cool. I'm Greg, uh, and I study in law here at uh, Christchurch. And you're also one of my flatmates. And I'm one of Jessica's flatmates. Yeah. Um, this is my room. Yeah. It's, it's pretty similar to Jess's. Maybe a little bit bigger, I think. Is it? Um, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I think I've got more floor space. Yeah. You've got a printer. Yeah, I've got my printer. Um, useful investment. And the dry and wrap me. That's quite I useful. I should get one of those. Dryers all the time. But it's also a faff of having to like hang the stuff up. What on that? Yeah. I just yeah. prefer to use the laundry like tumble dryers. I find the tumble dryers don't work a lot of the time. That's so true. Yeah. Um, but we do have our own laundry rooms here and then his sinks behind there. Wow, look. <laughs> And then wardrobe, yeah. which has got stuff hanging on it. With the standard full washing yeah. basket, which has never <laughs> ever been anything like You have a toaster in your room. Yeah, and a collapsed chest set, which is clearly good Yeah, really quite good at chest though. And then he's decided to take out the chest of drawers from his wardrobe, which is still in mine. So. I need more space. Anyway. Yeah, I do need more space, but also, yeah. And then your pin board with... Your photos, so some of them are really cute of like the flat the card, the union term planner. Oh, okay, <laughs> what's the one thing that you couldn't leave home without and that you'd have to bring to your uni room? These inspirational quotes that keep me going on a regular basis. Uh, this says, Mondays <laughs> are terrible, no, Mondays a terrible way to spend a seventh of your life. Yes. That's lovely. Who's the guy in front? I have literally no idea. It okay. That's nice. So that's that's lovely. Yeah. Anything that makes your life easier that you would recommend people br to bring to uni? Well, I like the drying rack. Yeah, the drying rack's like useful. It. Printer's handy, but Printer. not expensive. Yep. Um, but the toaster in my room is good. Mm. Bring a kettle. Things. Like you can get cheap toasters and kettles that yeah. can come in handy. Yeah. That's good. yeah. yeah. Like that. A door stop would be really good. Oh uh, yeah, I think we need to invest in one of those because all the doors close and it. It feels quite closed off from each other. Mine doesn't, because I'm <laughs> Okay, well thanks for letting me see your room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bye! Hi, I'm Annika. I'm a biologist here at Oxford. I live with Jess, and this is my room here. Nice! She definitely has the nicest room, I think, in terms of decoration. It's like the kind of room you'd see on, like, a Pinterest board, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. These are all the posts, are they postcards or your own photos? A uh, mixture of the two, so a lot of them also from postcards from where I've travelled or the Wildlife Photographer of the Year exhibition, which is great. And then some like little trinkets from places I've been to or gifts from people. So mm -hmm. the two. That's nice. So you've got some like cool decoration on your table. Um, yes. And a succulent, very yes. nice. You know Sonia's yeah. named hers? Well, I've, I've named a few of mine as well. <laughs> that one's from Sonia as well. I've got Aww. Figly, the... Um, Figly. Oh. That's a fig bonsai tree. There we go. A bonsai tree there. Annika loves her plants. Collection of tea. Very nice. Very necessary. Um, calendar. This is really cute. The jar with lights in. Mm. I've also used that to store my shoes. <laughs> um, we've got, like, the standard wardrobe and sink cupboards. Your really cool Van Gogh bag. Um, more jars with fairy lights. Oh, it's just so pretty. It's so pretty. Such a good working environment. Okay, 
So what's one thing that you had to bring with you from home? Um, there's not one thing. There are many little things together. I mean, my plants are quite a big part of it as well. Mm -hmm. So because they were gifts from people, so they're quite special. And then just like little things collected from places, like I said. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say there's one thing. It's, yeah. I'd say my photos are also quite a big part mm. of it, otherwise it wouldn't feel... It makes your room feel more homely, I think. Yeah, no, for sure. And what's one thing that you think is like really practical that you wouldn't think of usually bringing with you? Um, like my, my toolbox maybe, and I've got a little first aid kit with me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I ever need a tool, I'll come to you. Yeah, I've got that with me, so that's, that's quite useful. Ah, well, thanks for letting me look around your room. No worries.